Hello Lords and Ladies of Westeros. In the previous video, I showed how to forge the Lord's equipment from the materials acquired from the events, rebel groups, rebel leaders, and gathering. You'll find the link of that video in the description below. But in that video, I only demonstrated how to forge with the advance button having this red dot mark, which means that I have all the necessary materials available in order to allow me to go ahead and continue with forging the materials to upgrade to the next color state. So this time, we're gonna go in details and do this without the red dot mark on the advance or force button and will teach you the important purpose of the combine and dismantle button. Now in order to demonstrate how to do that, We'll start by going on our city page. If you see this exclamation point symbol on top of your blacksmith, this simply means that you have an equipment ready to refine or forge. Now all you got to do is click your blacksmith to enter. Then click the blacksmith tab. Next, choose forge and on Forge tab, you'll find various equipment sets. You'll also find equipment sets marked with a red dot. This simply means that inside these sets, there are gears available to Forge to enhance its quality to upgrade its equipment bonuses. In this section, you'll see some gears with a red dot which means these are the gears that you can choose to forge. Please take note that you can only forge one at a time. Like what I have said earlier, I have demonstrated on my previous tutorial how to forge with this advanced or forge button marked with a red dot. But only this time, what if you don't see the red dot mark? but you have the red dot on your gear. Question is, can we still forge this gear? Well, the answer is yes. When you don't see this red dot on the advance button, this simply means that you don't have the materials in the correct slots right here in this section. This is where I will teach you on how to use the combine and dismantle button. If you fail to learn to use the combine and dismantle, you'll lose an early opportunity to forge an item. The alternative would be to wait until the material slots are all green, and that would take a long, long time to wait. So moving forward, we're going to use the seven-pointed star pendant and its white collar quality. As you can see, there is no red dot on the forge button, but there is a red dot on the gear. Like I've said earlier, this means you have the materials to upgrade it to the next color quality, but the materials needed are not on the correct slots. Now, in order to put them in their correct places, take a look into this material section. This one with the red dot is a red copper in its white color quality. You'll know its quality by looking at its background. This one uses white background. That is how I have determined that it is in its white color quality. You'll see different color background for each color quality. Okay, moving on. This section will tell you that you have two and you'll need one more to complete. If you click on this material, you'll see this. Now focus on this section and you'll find two red copper in white quality. And you'll also see that you have 11 of green quality, six of blue, one in purple, and none for gold. Here is where we will need to use dismantle. Click the dismantle tab, and you will have the option to dismantle all, or just dismantle a single slot. First, I'm going to demonstrate how the dismantle button works. Now, we have one in purple 
and I'm going to dismantle that to move to the blue slot. Click on the blue slot and click dismantle button. This will transfer the one that is in the purple slot to the blue slot. Just do the same here until you reach the corresponding slot where you need to put the materials. Now, if we go back to the material cost section, you'll find that the red dot is gone and you have the number of materials needed is in green. Now, you'll only use the dismantle all button if you need all the materials in the white slot. Or by clicking the dismantle all button, you'll bring all materials into the first slot which is white. Now let's move on into the next material. The iron buckle. It is in white color quality and we need three of this. All you got to do is click on this item and this will take us back again to the combined equipment window to see that we have 45 in green slot that we could use to dismantle and bring it to the white slot. Just do the same process like we did earlier to put it on the white slot. Dismantle or disassemble all. And voila! We have everything in this section in green. This means we can go ahead and forge the gear. Now let me go ahead and show you how to use the combine button. Combining is just the reverse of the dismantling or disassembling all. It just depends on what slot the material should be. This time, I'm going to demonstrate it by using the Rebels and Set. Kraken Pendant is on green and we will upgrade it to blue. In the material cost section, it tells us we need two iron buckles in blue color quality and two iron ingot in blue as well. All we got to do is click on the first material. Now we see that we have 45 in green. Just click on the combine tab and click on the blue slot to bring the materials from the green slot to blue. And there you go. The same would be for the iron ingot. Click the combine tab then click on the blue slot and click on the combine button. And that's it. Just click on the advance or forge button and it's just easy as that. Okay guys, now that you have learned how to combine and dismantle, you can forge equipment without having to wait until the material cost slots are all green. I'd also like to give credits to Lady Guinness who have asked and gave inputs for this video. And there you have it. If you have any opinions or suggestions about this tutorial, I would really love to hear them. Just let me know on the comment section below. And if you like this video, just smash that like button to motivate me to do more fun, exciting and informative videos and hit the subscribe button to keep you updated with my latest content here on YouTube. I hope you've all enjoyed and learned something from watching this. That'll be all for now. I'll see you all on my next one. And may the 7th be with you.